They have battled it out for two months throughout the first round, and the time is now to find out who the four will be in the finals for the Acoustic Live Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for being a part of the Acoustic Live Challenge. Make some noise for James Wilkerson and Patrick Armstrong. The sign gets bigger than it used to be. Suddenly. This is always one of my favorite venues to play. I really like the events Rob puts on. He does a good job. He does a lot for local music. It's 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 fun being able to play your your own original music and ha have an audience actually listen to it. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a, it's a nice event. There's a lot of good musicians and always a good crowd. So. Gave me the opportunity to come back. I think Rob liked what I did. I tend to play kind of more intimate song, so the crowd is usually attentive listeners. Just sit around here in sorrow. Zodiac man comes to find humorism in his mind. He makes all the stars align. So what's your sign? A few years ago when we did Acoustic Live Challenge, it, they kind of uh, constructively criticized, you know, performance and audience interaction and songwriting and that's all kind of helped me uh, throughout the years and I decided to come back and give it another shot again. I'm a mess. I hate to confess that I worry about things that won't be For the songs to be recognized and for them to be the relatable to to people at least in the first round is huge. Timing is everything. See me up for the cold weather. Well, it's an, it's an old school style loop pedal, uh, all analog and uh, all organic instruments. So I, you know, normally start with, you know, a drum beat, maybe add in some guitars, and then just kind of go from there and expand on the song. Um, just trying to keep it fluid and different at the end from it is where it is at the beginning, you know, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's just, uh, it, it, I think of it as like building a song from the ground up. I love Rob Snodgrass. I think he's a great guy, and you know, and the, the, the events, uh, it's a great event, you know. Um, it's not full bands, it's not electric guitars and wild guitar solos, it's acoustic, it's from the soul, you know, it's, it's songwriting. And I think that it being more of a songwriting type of, con I think it's, it's fantastic, you know, for Indiana music. Make it up as you go, hoping not to walk down the wrong it's a lot of fun. I really appreciate uh, all the support for original music. Um, there's a lot of really good original bands in Indianapolis and people really just need to go out and, uh, and experience that. They had said to really pay attention to when your ups and downs are and really try to peak towards the end, which I thought was really good advice. And then they also were uh, talking about making, making sure that you make a lot of really good pictures and stories and things in your lyrics that are really relatable. Um, I, I really like that feedback. I think the prizes are really neat this year, and uh, it'd just be kind of a cool pelt on the wall to say that you know that we, we got to move on and, and took it down. But uh, there's a lot of stiff competition, so we'll see what happens. Welcome to this world. We've had a great, great prize package of cash, studio mastering, um, guitars, picks, you know, a, a whole nice little prize package. Uh, for the artists. Uh, this year we've had some amazing acts. We had 35 acts total who performed throughout a three month process to find out uh, who's going to be the Acoustic Live Challenge champion. It's uh, all original music. Uh, we've, we've had a slew of great acts this year uh, take the main stage here at the 247 Sky Bar. If you'd like to see who won the Acoustic Live Challenge this year, go to the AcousticLiveChallenge.com.